One of the small additions made to JavaScript as a result of the ES6 or ES2015 standard that I really like are default values for function parameters. I've used this in other languages and I have missed it in JavaScript, so I'm glad to see it as a part of JavaScript now. Let me jump to Sublime. We'll first take a look at the problem and then we'll take a look at how default values for function parameters address that problem. So let me first create a simple function. This function is simply going to multiply two numbers together that are passed in. So we'll return num1 times num2. Now, what happens if we call that function without passing anything in? Some languages would generate an error if that occurred, but in JavaScript, it is allowed. It doesn't prevent you from doing that. So I've got a console log statement to output the results of this function, and we're not passing anything in. So basically, it's going to multiply undefined by undefined. You probably are already aware of the results, but let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'll refresh my HTML page, open the console, and sure enough, we get NAN because it's trying to multiply two things that are not a number. So how can I prevent that from happening? Well, the traditional way of doing that involves checking the value of each variable as they come into the function and then putting a default value if they are undefined, something like this. This is how we have traditionally done this. There's more than one pattern for accomplishing this, but this is one pattern. I'll use the ternary operator for a conditional. Simply says that if num1 is equal to undefined, then we'll set num1 to 2. Otherwise, we'll set it to num1, which will be a part, which will come from the value that is passed into the function. And then we would do that exact same thing for num2. All right, so that's the traditional way of dealing with it. Now, the values that I set them to, in this example, they're just arbitrary for me, but you would have some sort of logic that you would use to determine what value you want to them as the default if nothing were passed in. So now let's take a look at what we get. Well, of course, now we get a value which we can use. We get 10 because the default was 2 and 5 for those two parameters. Now, things still work if we actually pass in a value as shown here. Let me refresh and we of course get a thousand because it did accept the values that were passed in even though we set up a default here. So that's how we've traditionally done it. Well, with ES6, it's now much simpler to establish a default value and you do it as a part of the parameters in the function. So let me remove this. And to accomplish the same thing, we simply do this. Set num1 equal to 2, num2 equal to 5. Now, those values will only be taken if a value is not passed in. So let's first try it without passing a value in. I'll remove those two numbers, save this, refresh. We get the 10. So we get the default values, the 2 times 5. Now, let's go ahead and pass a value into each of those variables. Save that, refresh, and now we get a thousand. So that is how the default values for function parameters work with ES6. 
Now, I should note before ending that this can also be an expression. For example, let's say I had another function here. Default val, and all it does is return the number 5. Well, for the default value for the num2 parameter, I could simply call that default val function like that. So I can have a more complex expression expressing the default value for a function parameter. Let me go ahead and remove these numbers and run this. And you can see that that works exactly the same. So we still get 10. So a more complex expression is possible within in defining a default value as well. Now, this particular feature, default function parameters, are available in the latest brow browsers. So the basic functionality of this feature, you can see, is available in transpilers, such as Babel the latest version of Edge, Firefox, Chrome and Opera, Safari, Node. The support in mobile is not as great, but you can see where it's possible to now use this, depending on the browsers or the transpiler that you're targeting. If you found this helpful, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and you can visit our website for more resources on JavaScript. Thanks for watching.